basically in the market segments that we're serving today, you know, anything from schools to stadiums to public Wi-Fi or city Wi-Fi to manufacturing and to hotels. Common feedback we hear from our customers today, the, or the very first thing they tell us is, wow, it helped me save a lot of time. Okay. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the GB Show. Today, we have someone who has great experience in mm -hmm. autonomous network and leveraging artificial intelligence and machine learning. He has PhD in wireless communication. He started his career in academia and has done more than 40 plus research paper internationally. He has started his own startup and now working as VP software engineer, artificial intelligence, machine learning and data analytics with Ruckus, a Comscope company. Siho, welcome to the GB show. Thank you, Gaurav. Happy to be here. Okay, so how your journey, because when mm -hmm. I'm looking into your profile, academia, startup, and then an uh, organization, right? And working as a VP over there. So I think you have seen a lot uh, in your career. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> how that transition from right. academia to startup has happened and how you see the emerging trends in networking space. Right, right. I, I started my PhD around the very early 2000s. And I think that was a period where it's really exciting for wireless communications. If you could remember back then, 3G first started and Wi-Fi was just gaining popularity, right? I still remember putting in a PCI card to my laptop. Okay. And the, wow, that's wireless LAN, right? I think that got me excited. And um, so I kind of loved that feel so much that I went on you know, to do the PhD and went back to Singapore. I was a faculty for a while. And, and then we came up with an idea because... Um, we saw that, well, you know, after the dot-com boom, the single invention that have changed all our lives is a smartphone, yes. right? All of us remember that day, you know, sometime in 2007 when Apple launched the first iPhone, right? And with that, it's in everybody's pocket. And we start thinking, hey, you know, we look at all the malls, all the hotels in the world, and they have absolutely no idea what people are doing within the buildings. And that's where we say, hey, we could use Wi-Fi to track where people go because um, everyone has a phone in their pocket. And that's where we started the idea um, of location analytics using Wi-Fi. And after that, I know we got in touch with Ruckus and the rest is history. Okay. The location analytics sounds good, right? And I think for that, uh, you must have drive it through a lot of AI engine and machine learning or what technology was the base you were using there? Oh, that, that was, um, I, I would classify that as machine learning algorithms. Machine learning algorithms. Where, yes, where we collect the data, we churn through the data, and we try to estimate where each and every device is. Okay, and how you see today when we talk about AI ML, how it's changing the business landscape, uh, specifically by using these technologies? Well, yeah, well, I guess all of us come in contact with um, AI, artificial intelligence, and machine learning on a daily basis, right? From very mundane tasks like asking Google, which is the fastest route yeah. to get home, to, well, the latest fact in the market, right? Chat GPT. Wow, that is really smart. And I, I'm pretty sure you spend a lot of time on Chat GPT. Uh, yes, definitely we do. Yeah. And, but for businesses, I think um, based on the latest IDC report, it was saying that by next year, the AI ML business is worth $500 billion, right? So yeah. if you are a business and you are not investing in AI ML, chances are you are lagging behind your competitors. And the, the three things I would say, you know, broadly speaking, what AI ML can do for a business is one is automating the processes. Second is about decision making. And then the third one is about being truly customer centric. Right, so about automating processes is really easy. I think any routine tasks can be easily automated and the machine will be able to do it faster and better, more accuracy than a human, right? Example would be in customer support, for example, mm. where companies are using AI chatbots to answer simple questions and that would allow the support team to deal with the more complex support issues. 
And the second point about decision making, I think that is something very unique to AI and ML. Because by using machine learning, artificial intelligence, we are able to dig through tons of data, million lines of logs, and be able to make sense out of it. This is something that a human is not able to do. Right? For example, like um, fraud detection in the mm. financial sector. And if you think about it, hey, you are really picking out one suspicious transaction out of millions. Exactly. Yeah, no, no humans can do that. Mm. Uh, so many use cases, yes, of course, we can talk about uh, artificial intelligence and what is revolving uh, around it. Mm -hmm. So when we talk specifically, your expertise in the network, right? right. How you think AI is going to change the overall enterprise network while, you know, people are talking about the network modernization, right? Right. Yeah, that's, I think that's really important and um, it's very close to our heart as well. I think the first one would be just providing, just, you know, collecting all the relevant data putting it into a single place that allow our customers to actually have um, visibility into the network, right? And to understand the current state of where the network is. I think that's, that's the most basic. And the second layer is kind of going back to what I mentioned just now about the ability to scan through millions of lines of logs and going through tons of data, mm. right? I mean, if you ask any um, IT administrator today and say, hey, have you looked through that one million lines of logs when the CEO wasn't able to log into Wi-Fi this morning? The answer is no, right? He's not able to do that. But with AI and ML, it's possible. And then the next, the last step, I would say sort of, is not here yet today. But if you think of it as a vision and sort of a holy grail, mm. we are all thinking about autonomous networking. So that, yeah. that is when you just have to give the machine a set of business requirements for the network. The machine will figure out how to configure a network, how to monitor, and ensure that the configuration that you have is not done just once, like what we do today, but is continuously being adjusted so that we can be sure that the SLA of a network mm. serves the needs of a business. So yeah, with AI people says that uh, it will not take your job away, but you need to learn how to live with AI. Is it the same thing gonna happen with the uh, network folks, uh, because when we talk about mm -hmm. autonomous network, is there jobs they need to be paired? No, or? no. Yeah, I, I think far from that. I think okay. AI ML is not going to take away jobs, right? What is it going to do is it's going to help you do your job better because there are still a lot of decisions, especially when it comes to the context, right? How, what should be the service level quality for a certain event? in a school, in a stadium, in public Wi-Fi, in a hotel, mm. right? So all these will need human inputs. And that's where, you know, we want um, the IT administrators in a company to actually focus on the higher level tasks rather than focusing on, you know, the right. routine tasks of going through the logs, trying to find the issues and so on. Okay, so we are going to free up some space for the network administrator. And yes. uh, in, in that space, like I know Oracus is doing a great uh, job so what all advancement has been done uh, from your side and from your organization? Right. And in Ruckus, we have a cloud-based AI op solution called Ruckus Analytics. And what it does is sort of what I mentioned just now. First, it provides a single pane of glass that tells you everything about your network. Right. So that, that is really important because today, a lot of customers, they might not have a view of their network this way. And the second part is where the AI ML will come in. So we have patented algorithms that actually scans through all your data 24 seven. And we will look at each and every AP individually because um, every access point has a different life. If you're an AP in a hotel, you have a good life because you only serve a few devices. But if you're an AP in a train station, you have a bad life because you have to serve thousands of clients every time. Right. So, and everywhere in between, and our AI algorithms are able to learn from past data, past usage and traffic patterns. And we will know where is a dynamic benchmarking. And from there, we'll be able to detect anomalies. We'll be able to tell you, Hey, you know, there is a P3 DHCP issue in your network. Right. And this is done 24 seven. Okay. It's continuously picking up issues, putting on the dashboard. And when you come into the office at 9 a.m. in the morning, 
you know exactly where your state of network is. So, uh, Siho, uh, amazing technology you are working on. What all enterprise you think can uh, leverage this technology? Oh, yes, I think um, basically in the market segments that we're serving today, you know, anything from schools to stadiums to public Wi Fi or city Wi Fi to manufacturing and to hotels. I think okay. all of these verticals will be able to. Oh, will you like to tell our audience and uh, uh, successful case study on this? Oh, yeah, of course. I think one of the most common feedback we hear from our customers today, the, or the very first thing they tell us is, wow, it helped me save a lot of time. Okay. The, the second comment is, wow, I didn't even know these issues happened in my network, right? Because they didn't have the time to look through all the logs and all the data. And I, I can give you one example um, of a case study that we did with a customer with concrete numbers. So we have this large managed service provider in the US, thousands of APs, right? And they were one of our earlier customers for Ruckus Analytics. So we worked with them very closely to really understand how AI and ML can bring benefits to a business. So we did a case study for about three months. Okay. And long story short, the results are that, number one, they reduce the mean time to resolution by 70%. Okay. 70, 70%. Amazing. And they are able to reduce the number of help tickets by 20%. But the most amazing thing is because they are Wi-Fi MSP, they are selling Wi-Fi services to their end customers. And because of the better services they are able to provide with Ruckus Analytics in the back end, they have reduced their customer churn by 80%. So we are not just talking about being more productive for the IT or the operations team. We are talking about a direct impact to the business. Amazing, amazing numbers. I think 70% uh in reduction of the issue resolve is amazing i think mm. uh, people should because every organization wanted to or they are looking forward to achieve that so what That's kind right. of uh, investment we are looking into this and uh, when you s uh, say this roi that's a mm -hmm. specific use case or it's the average uh, which we talk about so investment versus roi how you will like right to right this. and I, I guess for roi um there are probably two measures one is sort of what kind of productivity gains mm. or cost savings you can bring to the backend IT operations team, right? That, that is uh, very easily justifiable. Mm. And the other one is about what is the impact to your business? That might be more difficult to measure mm. depending on the nature of our business, right? So for example, um, you are in manufacturing, you have a smart factory, you have um, lots of devices, that is required in the operations line. And if any of these devices fail to have a wireless connection, the entire line will stop. Mm. And the cost of that is worth a lot more than the investment that you have put in the Ruckus Analytics in the first place. Okay, good. And uh, I think uh, we got the gist what we are looking forward for and we can conclude uh, AI-based network uh, is the future and autonomous is the one everyone will should uh, look into. Mm -hmm. I think it yeah, was uh, definitely. Yeah. Uh, great uh, talking to you, Siho, and uh, thank you, I wish you keep coming to India and of we course, will connect will. more and more. Uh, thank you for joining us. Thank you so amazing much. Amazing talking to you. Thanks. So, guys, I'll see you in the next uh, episode very soon. Thank you for joining us today.